So GOP leaders releasing that long-awaited, uh, the long-awaited details of their final tax bill, and we've got those numbers laid out. But what exactly they, do they mean to you? And everyone wants to know how they exactly affect them specifically and their families. Here to help us break it all down, Nicole Duran, the Kiplinger Letter Senior Editor. Nicole, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Charles. You know, everyone wants to know, they, they know the broad stroke stuff, but they're like, what about me? How does it impact me? So we sent you a few of the tweets, and if you can help me go through them, and then uh, later on perhaps wrap this up with your overall thoughts. But Carl had a scenario where he says, listen, I'm, he's married, he lives in Oklahoma, uh, he has a $1,200 a month mortgage, he has $150,000 a year in income. Uh, right. How do you think this will impact someone like that? So his, um, so his overall tax rate is going to be 22% on his income, which is uh, probably a little less than it um, was before. Um, as far as the mortgage goes, um, so they didn't change a whole lot on the uh, what you can deduct for mortgage interest. Um, so as long as his mortgage isn't more than a million dollars, um, he can still deduct all of his mortgage um, interest. So and the. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I'm going to say, so Carl's looking pretty good then. He is. And then the only um, other factor is they are capping how much um, people can deduct for state and local um, property and income tax and sales tax. Um, so I, I quick tried to look up um, Oklahoma's uh, tax rates, and it looks like his state tax rate's about 4.5 percent, his local's close to 4 percent. 4% and his sales is in the 8 ish range. So um, I, I didn't have time to, to do the math on, on his salary, but um, he can only deduct up to um, 10000 Okay. Of and, and you can take whichever you want, but um, you can't take more than 10000 So let me ask you, on, on the property side, when they say 10000 is that on a single property or could it be on, on multiple properties? It, it really doesn't matter. You can only take 10000 for everything of, that, of, of state and local. Okay. So it's, you sort of have to pick and choose. Um, you know, which, which ones you want So, Nicole, I've got another scenario for you. It's uh, Joe. He's, he's single, lives in Minnesota, makes $35,000 a year, says he never itemizes. What do you think? So he's doing good because his standard deduction, since he doesn't itemize, and this is uh, one of the points that the tax writers are really trying to hammer home, is that they're really trying to help people like Joe. Uh, so instead of about a $6,300 write-off, um, he's going to have, have a $12,000 standard deduction write-off. Wow. Yeah, starting wow. um, next year. So Joe's making out big time. Yeah, and he's only um, his tax rate's only going to be um, twelve percent. Wow. Okay, Joe. Uh, you know what? Congratulations. Now, <laughs> Nike and Latte scenario is a little different. They're married. They have two kids. They live in California. They pay right. twenty-seven eighty mortgage. They make one hundred thirty thousand dollars a year. Everyone in these blue states are concerned. Uh, how does it hit them? Yeah, so they are, um, my guess is that they're paying more than $10,000 in some combination of personal income, uh, property, and sales tax. So I think they're going to take a hit there. Um, they're going to fall into a 22% overall rate, which is um, probably lower than what they had been paying. Um, again, their mortgage, as long as it's not over, uh, as long as the value isn't over a million, um, they and if they, even if they had a second home, for example, they could still write off all their um, interest up to a million, and then they are getting to write off more for their um, for their two kids though. Right. So they can now write off two thousand for each child, so four thousand total. Net net, maybe they pay a little more. Um, I'm guessing they. <sighs> It'll be close, but with that ten thousand um, uh, uh, ceiling, uh, that that's what might hurt them. Yeah. Well, if they do break even, they could probably thank Marco Rubio. I'm sure if he does run again in 2020, he'll remind a lot of people. Overall, uh, the arguments out there. I, you know, I want to. You're you're the professional on this. You crunch these numbers. You understand them better than anyone else. Forget about the political rhetoric for a moment. People sure. dying and that kind of stuff. Right. Do you think this will actually give our economy a shot in the arm? Um. You know it. it so I just wanted to make sure I'm getting this right. So they pointed out that um, on average, a family of four, if you make $73,000, you're going to get a little over $2,000 uh, tax cut. So, I mean, you know, I think if uh, an extra $2,000, I mean, people are probably just going to go spend that money, which, you know, if you spend into the economy, then that helps the economy, right? Yeah, yeah. And, so, I, you know, and I think also, you know, and I got to tell you, I take real exception to folks who, who, who belittle uh, that, that it's not a lot of money. It's like only 40 bucks a week. There are people out there who need 150 bucks between now and Christmas just to get the toys off layaway. So I don't think uh, I don't think people should sneer at the fact that I think we all wanted it to be more, but 2,000 is is still a lot to a whole lot of Americans. Oh, absolutely, and especially if you're the kind of a person 
uh, depending on uh, you know how many exemptions you take up front, if you're one of those people who doesn't get that money back until April, that's a chunk, you know, uh, all at once. Right. Which you know, to, to a lot of uh, people who work paycheck to paycheck, getting any kind of chunk, you know, of money like that is pretty sizable. Nicole, thank you very much. Uh, there were some tough questions on the fly. I appreciate you taking the time to answer them. <laughs> uh, thanks for having me, and I, I hope I helped. All right, you did. Thanks a lot.